Hello everyone and welcome to session 3 of Proofs Material 101 via MATLAB. I'm Arash and today we're going to talk about processing a specific surface of Proofs Material. Uh, so we, as we have talked to in previous sessions, we have a simple array of Proofs Material containing uh, 0 and 1 and it shows void spaces and solid spaces respectively. So here we wanted to load this matrix as we have it inside our current folder so when we load it we have it here it's 100 cube in size and using the functions and the codes we have developed in session 2 we are able to visualize it i have actually converted those codes into things, as you can see surf which visualizes the surface of the porous media and wall shows the volume of the Purse media. So, if for just some sort of recap, if I use this functions here for you to visualize the matrix, as you can see, yeah, these are two different images of surface and also the volume of the data that we have there. Okay, so right now we wanted to calculate the porosity of this structure. It's simply the portion of the void space. So considering that this array is consisted of 0 and 1s, a very simple way to calculate the porosity is to calculate the average value of this array. But first of all, you need to flatten a matrix using this command. So uh, by doing that, we have the porosity of the structure, which is equal to 0.1899. That's okay. Makes sense. So this is porosity. It's very simple. So right now, we want to talk about specific surface. This is a more detailed property. A simple way to calculate it is using a function that is developed in MATLAB known as bwprim which like this can calculate the array that contains the boundary voxels of matrix A. If I wanted to visualize a section of this array, uh, I should use this command. So this is the 20th slice of B. Okay, as you can see here, we have there's you know boundaries and this will gives us the surface actually because it, this this structure is in 3d actually so it will gives us the surface of the pore structure and by dividing it by the volume of it it will give us the specific surface this is a very simple but not very accurate to do so so in order to calculate the specific uh, surface you can simply calculate the summation of this array B divided by summation of the solid space. Okay. Yeah, here. This value shows us the specific surface of this structure and also you may be able to calculate the specific surface of the porous space in order to do that you just need to simply invert this value so it will divide the surface by the volume of the porous space so these are different specific surface values but as you know, this is not very accurate and now I wanted to show you why. Because in the current approach, taking this structure as our original geometry, if we calculate BW prime, it will give us these four voxels for the surface for the surface, yeah. And summation of these four S squares, it would be four. But we know that the you know surface area or perimeter of this structure is actually eight, it's not four. So it's somehow underestimating 
the specific surface and also the surface area of the pore or grain space. So in order to solve that problem, we are gonna use an structuring elements to dilate the geometry into this structure. Okay, and when we convert it into this structure, we can simply count the number of these yellow boxes, which is equal to eight. Again, this the second approach is not still the exact answer to specific surface problem, but it's very much better than using simply BW print. So in order to do that, we just need to make this a structuring element, but in 3D here I have sh shown it in 2D, but in 3D it has an extra box here and also in the back. So yeah, so I have need to do some cheats here. Okay, this was our first approach, which I will comment out. And then I have my structuring element as I shown here. So this is a three by three by three matrix of zeros, but there are some one values at the center and in the up, down, left, right, and bottom and front of the structure. So, using this structuring element and using this command of MATLAB, which is known as mdelate, it's able to dilate any structure. So, we use a and a C in this command and we put the output inside matrix B. Okay. And when we do this, okay, let's let's compare these two arrays. If I wanted to show you using this previously written functions. Okay, they are very much similar, but as you can see here, in B, this pore space is slightly smaller than this one because this solid space has been dilated for a very small amount. Okay, so the next thing that I need to do is to calculate B minus A. Okay, and then name it as C equal to B minus A. Okay, 